interview was filmed under strict lockdown rules. Some of the content you may find shocking. Flat lie rule means illegitimate, not allowed on the throne. It may make you question your spiritual beliefs. The biggest secret in the Catholic Church is that there were two Jesuses. But the journalistic integrity of us presenting this in a truthful, non-biased way is very important to us. I hope you enjoy the show and we'll see you for part two. March 2020. The coronavirus takes full effect in the United Kingdom and 63 million people are forced into lockdown. London streets are quiet. But rumours about the royal family are ablaze. Civil unrest breaks out. No clear leadership. Seems like there's no hope. But what if there was a new king? A hidden king? After a restricted journey across Europe, we made it to the secret film location and we got prepared. We were all a bit nervous shooting what possibly could be the biggest story of the 21st century. So when he arrived, I thought I'd go straight into the question that was on everyone's minds. You rolling? Yeah. With this ascension to the throne and the current situation with the coronavirus, is this all tied in? with this internal battle in the USA? Internal battles everywhere. It is the fulfillment of prophecy. The Jews have this prophecy where they have to destroy Europe before the Messiah comes. And Messiah just means someone whose earlier works are followed later. And all of these words have definitions like Lord, Christ, Messiah, Mashiach. Mashiach's born on a certain day during Rosh Hashanah after seven years of certain events, which just happened to be my birthday and the time of my birth, which makes me king of Israel. Now, Israel's supposed to be run by a temple, not a government. Mm -hmm. So in acknowledgement of me being Mashiach, Israel has not been able to form a government in the last 17 months. So is this all tied in with what you have to do as well? Absolutely, absolutely. And we've been working on this since 1988. I've been working on it since 1980. It's just a normal life. I grew up in New Zealand. Then when I was five and a half, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth II's doctor, called Sergeant Surgeon, he came out to New Zealand, invited my father to share his sheep, and on Sunday we went for cold meat sandwiches, sitting on my father's knee, and he said, why don't you take your son down to see King George VI's son in Rotorua? So I did that, and my father dropped me off. He was in there, then he left, and I had a private audience with King George VI's son, George Fitzratima, who was actually King George VII. And that was on the 10th of July, 1967. And at the same time, they changed the New Zealand currency from British pounds and pence to New Zealand dollars and cents but they retained the old coin called a crown and kept it in yeah. New Zealand until 1971 in use, right? So they were, symbolically they were saying that the crown is retained in New Zealand. Um, there were signs and symbols all the way through. So if we go back a bit to the coins from the 23rd of April, 1968, nine and a half months after my meeting with King George VI's son, natural biological son, the coin started to appear Elizabeth II Greg, and that went on, that was first on the 5p coin, actually before decimalisation, and then it was last on the £2 coin on the 10th of June 1998, and that was 11,011 days apart, and 11 means the letter M, so it's spelled M0M. So something was starting to happen, I was being brought in and named and symbolized and labeled as royal. Greg speaks a lot about biblical prophecies, predictions, signs that have helped him on his journey. He's agreed to show us some of these signs today. The 
This is a prophecy marker. Uh, it's a Stili. Uh, it's the disc Stili and it was put up in June 2000 and it predicts the day that I would arrive pretty much within six days. And it shows the location uh, from Jerusalem and that location is 11 miles out. Okay. It's 2,222 miles to Jerusalem, and this says 2,211. And that 11 is a guide to rotate the disc near 11 degrees, and then it's an exact match with the Sea of Galilee in the shape. And C, S-E-A, is homophonous with the Roman numeral C, which is 100. And the disc near is exactly 100th the size of the Sea of Galilee. Wow. Uh, you've worked all this out? I just came across it one day and saw it, and it predicted the, how old I would be when I noticed it. And um, it, it, the coordinates on it are actually the coordinates of the Sizewell Nuclear Power Station. What? Which is 21 nautical miles away. So the code is to size this up well, it's nuclear. So I had a look at this, I had a look at the Dismere, I related it to the Sea of Galilee, and then they built a structure over the water, which is a floating platform, exactly where the apostles left on the Sea of Galilee, and it does a right angle exactly where Jesus was standing on the water. It's, it's like, size this up well, it's nuclear. So what is something like this doing in a rural village in the middle of nowhere? It's part of Christianity's oldest science called typology theology, which means that what happened then will happen in another place in some future time. And this stone, this steely, marks that future time and marks that location. And I'm going to show you just how involved that prophetic marking is.